right, Terrifier 3. Oof, here we go, here we go. Just pull that side of cinema. Um, it's now quarter to nine. The movie starts at 10 past... Well, the trailers start at 10 past nine. Um, but yeah, the movie... At 10 past nine is the start time. Um, hopefully I've timed this just right um, so I can go in, use the toilet, get my food, uh, go to the theatre, get my seat, and, you know, kind of relax. Relax a little bit and get ready for the movie. But yeah, looking forward to this. Uh, Terrifier 1, I really liked, you know, brutal, brutal, brutal. <laughs> Terrifier 2, I liked uh, a lot as well. Very brutal too. I would say, like, in my opinion, I think I think Terrifier 1 was... Yeah, I'll say Terrifier 1 is probably more gruesome, in my opinion, than Terrifier 2. Um, definitely there's one scene in Terrifier 1 that's, that lives rent-free <laughs> in my head. Um... That being said, I think Terrified 2 was overall the better quality movie. Um, definitely had more of a story and, and that kind of thing as well. So, um, you know, de well, definitely more money involved. And you know, that's clear from watching the movie, right? Um, so, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to this, seeing what it can do with continuing that story of uh, some of the characters returning and um, being a Christmas movie. Hopefully it's an actual Christmas movie and not just a movie set during Christmas. That's what I'm hoping for. That's what I'm hoping for. But whatever it is, you know, I, I, as long as it's gruesome and, and violent and bloody and everything else, I'm, 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 I'm happy. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, looking forward to it. Back to start. So, uh, yeah, better get in. But let me show you this real quick. So I've had this for a while. Um, I've used it a few times before. I want to show you because I just feel like showing you. But this is actually a light I'm holding. and Because it's actually nighttime right now. So if I did this, you know, or turn my uh, thing off. Yeah, yes, it's dark. But um, you do this, you got good light. So, yeah, it's just a neat little uh, invention. <laughs> this just gives you light when you need light. But anyway, anyway, Terrify Free. Oof. So I've got the barbecue nachos, I've got salsa, uh, one of these is cheese and one of these is hala uh, guacamole, um, wait, they didn't give me my jalapenos, yeah, they didn't give me my jalapenos, bloody hell, man. anyway, I've got the, um, what do you call it, regular tango ice blast mix, looks pretty nice. Don't taste too bad either. Alright. Anyway, terrified free time. So right off the bat, I'm I'm gonna have to get into some spoilers, but let me save that till till later. Um, mate, listen, yeah, if you like slasher horror, pff, you just, just go see this movie. <laughs> that's, that's my review. If That's my, that's my non-spoiler review. Go see this movie. If you like slasher horror, uh, if you like, if you like, if, if you like, if you like movies that push things to, to the edge a little bit, go see this movie. If you, if that's, in fact, you probably already see it or you probably, you, you already know, you already know. All right, let's get some spoilers. This is just spoiler warning. Because, mate, listen, yeah? Like, I said from... No, I'm saying not spraying. But listen, I said from, like, the first movie, there's a scene that just lives rent-free in my head. I think there's going to be a new scene living rent-free in my head from now on. Like, mate, man just got cut... Man, man got a chainsaw for his ass. Like, what the fuck? Dude, come on my days. Oh, my days. The beer times, man, just watch this movie, like... I'm, I'm, that's that's my face for the whole movie. Like, yeah, what the? <laughs> oh man, oh man. Okay, and uh I mean, 
I would say that what my maybe my one gripe. I felt the ending. Mm, I mean, I appreciate the ending. You know, cause it made a reference to the to the short movie that that started. Also, you know, I I get it. It did feel a little bit weak, in my opinion. Um, that being said, there's a fourth movie coming, so I guess they're looking to tie in more to that. But that that that's that, that's that's maybe the one thing I could say about this film. Everything else though was like, mate, listen, like just just gore. <laughs> just cool. I mean they, they upped it like and this is the cool thing is like you know when movies do well they get a bit more money and they spend it on like big stars and big this and big that and it's like oh you know whatever it's, like, it's not I mean the movie's not necessarily rubbish but you know it just it just goes so far away from what brought it to the dance this series so far they've gotten you know more money as they've gone along like part two was clearly a bigger budget like you just visually you can see it's a bigger budget than the first movie and this movie i think it's probably about the same maybe a bigger budget than the second one um but the, the yeah the, they they spending the money in the right places what i'm trying to say they're spending their money in the right places like man i can't even think right now like ah oh, like in like the first opening scene I mean, men's like turning up in like some 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 family's house on Christmas, like a few days before Christmas, and like you know mashing up the little brother like like with a with a axe, and then mashing up the the dad with an axe, and then mashing up the the mum. It's like bloody hell! And then the little girls was watching from they had to hide in the cupboard. Oh man! And then uh, and they did a whole kind of five years prior so this is set like five years after well mostly set five years after the events of the um second movie um so because they did like a five year prior and they show how you know J uh, jericho <laughs> just got pulled apart man <laughs> jericho man come on you're a wrestler <laughs> you're a wrestler where's where's the where's the lion's soul where's the where's the <laughs> you know what I mean? what, what's going on you man, man should be pulling some wrestling moves on them but nah he, he just got pulled apart um but and the whole uh, thing with uh vicky hayes you know and they they didn't have the little girl in who was in the second movie you know like the little the the, the little um clown girl that was in the second movie that like even in the second movie like it wasn't really clear if that was someone who was in his head because like in the beginning of the second movie like the guy in the laundry he couldn't see the little girl but then um sienna and jonathan could see her and i think some other people could see her as well um, but then to be fair, I think Sienna and Jonathan have like a connection, so maybe that's why they could see her. Anyway, the point is that little girl wasn't in this, so you know, in the last movie, she she picks up Art the Clown's head off, the Sienna chops it off and walks off, and that's the last we see of her. So we don't know what happened to his head. Um, somehow it turns up in uh, Vicky Newman's stomach, and she gives birth to his head, and his body, you know, gets up. <laughs> And kills a police officer, takes his head and while he goes back to get his other head. For that game. Oh. Anyway, um, you know, I had a theory about Art the Clown, how he sold his soul to the devil. Like, you know, that was a uh, that Art the Clown was um, Sienna's father, and Sienna's father sold his soul to the devil and became Art the Clown. That was my theory. I'm not sure that that's quite the I, I'm sick to that anymore because, because they do show Sienna's dad in this one, like a flashback. Um, to Sienna's dad, and he's clearly a different person. But then again, I don't know. Maybe your body changes when you see old sort of devil. I don't, I don't know. But anyway, it seemingly that's not what happened anyway. Uh, after watching this movie, but I do feel there's definitely some some devil worshiping, devil satanic selling thing going on. You know, what I mean, soul selling going on 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 some bit. You know, they they made a reference to the ninth circle, which is like they're like the ninth circles of hell. Um, I feel like that's a reference to like there was never a short movie that started as well, but I feel like the reference to the ninth, ninth, ninth circles of hell or something like that, like Dante's Inferno, or, you know that 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 whole thing. Um, so I do feel there is some devils worshiping, devils soul selling on, on some level, and he, and they talk about demons and and all throughout the movie. So yeah, I do feel it has something to do with it, something to do with Art the Clown. I think he was once human because even Vicky Newman, uh, Vicky Newman, I'm thinking of the, the boys right now, <laughs> Victoria Hayes. Um, you know, even Victoria Hayes, like she, you know, was human when she got introduced into uh, in 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 Terrifier One, and then you know she goes a bit crazy after the attack. Um, and then in this movie, you see that she actually kills herself, but she doesn't die. Was well, well, she dies, but you know, comes back to life as the you know the the vessel for Art the Clown. He's like five years later, and he's coming cobwebs, and the demolition guys turn up, and they just get butchered. 
Bruh. Listen, yeah, this this film. I mean, there were... Actually, maybe there's another thing I could say is that there were parts that felt a little bit slow, but I weren't too mad at that just because it, it, it was developing the story a bit more. Um, and certainly by the time, like, the, the, the action comes and the killings come, it's totally worth the wait. So, um... Overall, I'm, I'm, yeah, I, I like this movie a, a lot. I liked it a lot. I thought it was a, it was a, it was a great third movie. Um, looking forward to the fourth, um, the fourth and possibly final movie, and however many years that that is to come. Um, I thought it was a good idea to set this one five years after, though, because when was Terrified Two? If I, I'm, I'm going, I'm have to double check, but I think Terrified Two was like two thousand, uh, two, two uh, thousand twenty-two. I think uh, two thousand twenty. Yeah, 2022, I think it was. It was a couple of years back, I think. Um, but this is five years later. So I think that makes sense. It's based on their real-life ages of the actors. It, it kind of makes sense to go five, uh, do a five-year skip rather than do like a, a one- or two-year skip because there's a point where you can't really pass for a, a high school kid anymore. No you know what I mean? It's like, you're not you're not old, right? I get that, but you, you, come on. You, you, there's a point where you just can't pass for a high school kid no more. So it makes sense to say five years later. Um rather than a year or two later that, that it actually was. Uh, but you know what? It, it, yeah, it's... <laughs> they pulled it off. They pulled it off. All right, so I'm back now, and I've uh, maybe calmed down a little bit. So let me try and clear up a few things I said before I post this video. So, yeah, the end wasn't weak. I think that's a bit unfair for me to say. It's not a weak ending. Um, but I guess what I was really thinking is that the final scenes where... Uh, Sienna had uh, the clown stabbed up against the wall, but then Gabby was falling through the hole that Vicky made with a acid demon juice or whatever it was that burned a hole all the way down to I don't know hell maybe. Um, but you know Gabby's holding on, and you know about to fall through, she's holding on. Um, you know Sienna's got Art uh, the clown stabbed up against the wall. He's laughing or silent laughing, you know. As he, as he does, right? Um, and, you know, Sienna basically has to choose between either trying to save Gabby but letting Art the Clown go or, you know, maybe try to kill Art the Clown but letting Gabby fall. And she chooses to try and save uh, Gabby and, you know, she's trying to kill it, reach and put the swords down and hold on to the sword. And of course, that was a bad idea because the sword's a blade and you can't get a good grip on it. And, of course, it has a slice of the hand anyway. So she falls down to wherever she falls down to and the, Art the Clown gets away anyway. And I was kind of thinking, like, had it ended there, that, that would have been a really, really strong ending. Um, but then it has one more scene after that where, you know, Art the Clown's got on the bus. And, I, and like I said, I get that that was a reference to the Ninth Circle short movie, um, even though that wasn't a trait station. Anyway, but yeah, I get it was a reference to the Ninth, Ninth Circle short movie with the, you know, I mean, the lady on the bus was even reading a book called Ninth Circle. So I, I get her very clearly referencing that short movie, and that's fine. But I just kind of felt like had it ended in that previous scene, that would have been a much stronger ending. But yeah, it's not a weak ending. I feel like it's unfair for me to say. Um, and at any end, end of the day, yeah, it's still a pretty damn good movie. So yeah, you know, this is it's just, it's nothing. It's nothing. <laughs> it's nothing. Um, but yeah, that was a uh, man. Some some gruesome kills uh, throughout. Oh, but I couldn't even think of some when I was doing when I was just rambling that thing. But you know, that's just literally just cut kind of me coming out of cinema just rambling like a madman. <laughs> um, but man, that scene when um, the auntie you know gets killed and he, he's put like a tube in her mouth and he's like hammer it down and puts the rats in there and then he slices the throat of rats. Oh, <laughs> oh my word. Oh my word, but yeah, they upped it, they upped it, but anyway, peace. <laughs>